Russell Landscaping here and I see a lot of people posting videos of their enclosed trailer that's the ultimate enclosed trailer and I'll tell you I don't think that you guys know what it is so I'm gonna show you real fast my setup and why I think that mine is the ultimate landscaping enclosed trailer <clears throat> This is a 2016 F450 four wheel drive XLT. A 200 gallon Wiley spray tank with a swivelable um, reel. Uh, we usually carry a pallet of fertilizer, a pallet of mulch right there on the back of the truck. And this is a 20 foot enclosed um, twin 7,000 pound axle trailer with a V nose on it. And I know this is one of the biggest innovations that we've added. I'll open it up here. When you open it up, the edgers and weed eaters are all accessed from outside of the truck. And in doing this, this truck usually runs five guys in it. So if you got two guys jumping on the Z's, or three guys jumping on Z's, um, five guys getting in the back of the truck, makes it very difficult for everyone to um, not bump into each other. This is also a 2016 trailer. Um, so we've ran it almost two full seasons. So it definitely has some wear on it. But inside the back, uh, this is actually a fourth weed eater, weed eater typically. Um, that we kind of just use as backup and you see we have the weed eater string in the my small cans are two-stroke gas That's all accessed from outside and I was I even hung a pair of Wire cutters right here that are permanently attached so that way we never have to go and find a way to cut our weed eater string uh, There's 20 gallons of unleaded fuel here and up here in front there is the ability to set two backpack blowers there, but I tried to put them as close to the floor as I can. That way when you open that door, you can grab them without actually getting in the trailer. Uh, up here, uh, two sets of hedge trimmers can fit right there. Also easy access from the door as fast as possible to get in and get out um, with barely having to step your foot in. Uh, one of the other innovations we have is I think you see that my lawnmowers are not sitting on the floor and in doing this we can run three lawn three ZTRs 372s or this trailer typically has a 60 a 72 and a 52 in it uh, <clears throat> we don't have to unload the Z's to get the push mowers out and we don't have to unload the push mowers to get the Z's out so it just makes it really easy uh, I will say this also is a seven foot tall trailer inside, so it's has a lot of headroom. Uh, typically up here on the shelf we keep um, sprinkler parts, stuff like that, anything that we might need to repair. Um, and then the red bin in front actually has pulleys and stuff in it for the decks, uh, jack shaft housings, bearings. And then on the front we actually have a blade belt for all three Z's and we have at least three hydraulic belts and we keep all the tools on the truck that we can pretty much repair any of these lawnmowers on the fly uh, so I tried to make it where there's the least amount of energy to get things out of the trailer um, the maximum amount of things can fit in the trailer and since this trailer does have the twin 7,000 pound axles, there is many times that we'll carry a Z, a skid steer, and a pallet of mulch inside this trailer all at once. So, uh, now that down there, that's actually pole hedge trimmers. Since they're like eight or nine feet long, they fit there great where they're out of the way and they're not getting damaged. So, um, oh, and I will say this ramp, So basically we just flip the ramp down, 
unload the push mowers and it's easy as long as you and that's another